Hello, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. It's me, A. Proustian, and... Cold Run. And we are here still in the Underdark, this Grimforge place. Although, not for long, because my sister, Hastan, said we missed a couple NPCs to talk to back in the Mushroom Village, so I do want to nip back there. Um, but before we go, you can speak with animals, right? I can. Or I can't. I, I potentially. I can't right now, but I can make myself. I think you can. I think you've got it up. You have the buff. Oh, I just double weird. Checked. I didn't cast it on myself. Maybe I just always have it. No, I think it? you casted it last time at some point to talk to the, like the okay. spiders or somebody. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because there are these Rothes over here who were saying moo, <laughs> and I thought maybe we should talk to them. <laughs> Absolutely. Who do you want to go for first? Elder, deep, or sleepy? Oh, goodness. Uh, maybe the deep, because they're first in line. Tired. Sleep. Rest, little one. But do not take long. I feel his shadow. I heard his name whispered. The rock shivers from the sound. The Ketheric Thorn. Eric Thorn, a familiar name. Halsim huh. mentioned his stronghold deep underground. The person who released the shadowy curse, maybe. Mm hmm. Interesting. Do you mean Ketheric Thorn, the Dark Justiciar Commander? Mm. Mighty elf, cloaked in darkness, ten masters ago, and ten more. But I remember there was the work and the blood. There was the Thorm's army. There was the hell beast that broke them. The Ketheric Thorm's name faded into stone until the near came. Huh. I don't remember who Nier is, though. Same. Shoot, it's been too long. <laughs> yeah. Um, number two or three, probably. I'm pretty curious about number two. All right, so what kind of hell beast could have destroyed Ketherick's army? I saw tusks and flesh, smelled fire and eggs. It came with the mask men, crashing and smashing eggs huh hmm smell fire and eggs it just smells like breakfast right it does <laughs> that was a long time ago what does near have to do with ketherick near who i know exactly what they are i know not so i say not yet i hear his name again said by the shadow is near the person here we're trying to find? I don't remember. Hmm. Uh, impressive memory. How old are you exactly? I outlived my mother and her mother's mother and many mothers beyond. Blessed to see many live. Cursed to see many die. Impressive. Seriously. I suspect that's the only conversation we're going to get. Moo. <laughs> uh, yeah, because that was the elder that was talking, not the deep right, one, right? Right, right. They're uh, still I'll sleepy talking guy. To... <clears throat> yeah. I guess I could try talking to the elder just in case, but... Yeah. Maybe Afraid. I accidentally clicked on him? Afraid of Dom. Do not oh, no, it's a pair conversation. Right, right, right. Yeah. Rest. I will see you. There was the okay. follow-up, though. That's pretty great. I yeah. love the speak with animal thing. Like, it feels so unique to this game, like, in terms of how much you get out of it. It's so yeah. cool. It's kind of like speak with the dead that way, where there are lots of times when you get interesting stuff. It feels really cool. 
Yeah, yeah, very much so. Uh, I'll try waking up the sleeper. Sure. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, are those two still talking? <laughs> What's that magic, wispy white stuff around them? That must be the speak with animals spell. I assume. Mm. If you talk know. to them, will we see that still, you think? Oh, that's a good question. I'll talk to the Elder Rothe. The Rothe grunt softly at each other. Oh, they do. Small lights flash about their heads in quick, erratic patterns. Oh. Okay, I'll try the animal handling. Please, guidance. Okay. Nice. One of the beasts seems exhausted. His lights flash in slow, methodical beats. Oh, you know what? Huh. This is, I forgot, as a deep, when I transform into a deep rothay, one of the abilities I have is to, to make, like, lights flicker out. So it must be a natural, oh, yeah. like, a fairy light thing. Like, they can form light in front of them if they need to. That's amazing. All right, I'll simply watch the Rothe. The beasts continue their discussion, lights flickering above them. That's incredible. Oh, I love it. All right, well, before we get any deeper here, we should return back because we do have a waypoint to get here. Yeah, we do. So I want to go back to the uh, Mayanid colony. Because apparently there are people here that we miss talking to. Non-mushroom non people. Which should help narrow it down. So I thought we'd kind of been everywhere, but maybe not. Oh, I found somebody. Oh, nice. Right where we came in. Goodness. Go for it. Okay. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull. The spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. <laughs> Or perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Good point. Um. Yeah, I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. Hmm. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? <laughs> I kind of got lost. I mean, one feels like too much information, one feels like too little. Yeah. Um, because I'm not going to deceive. Yeah. Uh, we'll go with the Mind Flayer infecting me with the Tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Explain the whole story. I trust this scholar implicitly, because he seems fun. <laughs> yeah. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Oh, Bolo emerges. I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. <gasps> what? That's impossible, but intriguing. <laughs> Are you looking to have it extracted? Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, let's start with that. An <laughs> Illithid is your friend. How's that? I just 
was like, I trust the scholar implicitly with my entire life. And half a second later, I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. This doesn't really change much for me. Like, I, I guess I, it's kind of true. This guy seems chill. And the hobgoblin, I mean, both hobgoblins and... Because this, what do you expect the society? The society of brilliance has got to be some like everyone, like Isle of Misfit toys for scholars, like sort yeah, of yeah. I mean, it's a good point. You know, they've got to be people who live in the underdark, generally. You know, as well. Uh, okay, well, an Alithid is your friend. How is that possible? I have broken free from the Elder Brain's yoke. Oh. I no longer serve the mm. grand design. I ask that you refrain from violence, while I respect that your opinion of my kind may not change. I didn't know they were that. I didn't know they were connected at all to like some hive, not necessarily hive mind, but right? sort of hive like, mind. Maybe or maybe just controlled by some overbrain. Yeah, so what is the grand design? A collective quest to eliminate the Gith and enslave all other humanoids. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? I'm not sure. Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing that Lazel's not here. It's good yeah. if we're trying to avoid violence, but it's bad because I would have liked to see her reaction. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go for it. I'll let you search search my brain. As the Melowan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Oh, that makes sense. Happens if the stasis goes away. I mean, I, I mean... can guess. <laughs> right? So maybe I should ask, can you extract yeah, it? Yeah, you, you probably have a sense of, you can guess numbers. No, yeah. it appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, that does not sound ideal. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him about the strange Mind Flayer ship we were on. Was it strange? I don't know enough about Mind Flayer ships. <laughs> okay. A Nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Hmm. Well, thank you for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its... But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Uh, yeah, isn't the stasis why the tadpole hasn't killed me yet? I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Hmm. Why do you think the... Why was the tadpole smug? Because it, it couldn't be, like, extracted and then knew it? Maybe, or maybe it's just like, hey, my, my, 
a mind flayer, one of my guys. I don't know. It's not clear. Okay, we'll bypass. What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. Mushrooms. I, I see. require a fresh tongue of madness and timus spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. Wait, is it? Is it? <laughs> yeah, eating those... What was those... it called? What kind of tongue? I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, Alright. Eating those doesn't sound like a great idea. My formula will hamper the more harmful effects once the mushrooms are brewed into a potion. Your sanity, however much you possess, <laughs> should remain intact. Well, that's good. Right. Okay. Where do I find the mushrooms? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery... Perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Oh, a reason to bring Gale? What? Yeah. Uh, why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. Hmm. All right, I'll Oh, I thought I'd be able to ask more. Shoot. All right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. Okay. I have never seen anything like it, though. Is my species evolving? Evolving, huh? Blurg is a trait. Such uh, an accelerated rate. Yeah. Okay. It simply shouldn't be possible. I'm gonna see what Blurg has to trade, real quick. Yeah. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? Uh. Oh, I could ask him other things. You know, I might as well keep asking him stuff, right? I've never seen a hot yeah. goblin like you before. The feeling is mutual, friend. I have only passing familiarity with the surface races. But I found that there is as much to learn from an individual as there is from a community. So it is with the Myconids. They live in harmonious unity, but each has a unique personality. Hmm. Yeah, research in the... the hmm? I guess the spore servants probably don't count as myconids because they're probably just zombies at this yeah, point. Yeah, right? I think that's true. And it's interesting, they live in harmony within their own circle, but obviously the different circles are not necessarily in harmony with each other. Right. As we learn. Okay, research in the Underdark sounds like a dangerous prospect. Yes, but it has abundant natural resources. Spores. Water orbs, Trillimac. I've studied them for years. There is rare magic in the Underdark, too. Fair's rest. It radiates from the earth, warping teleportation and divination magic. Interesting. Yeah, that must be what the Suser, uh, what was around all the Suser stuff. Yeah, the, uh, the flowers. Yeah, the dampening. What have your studies uncovered? This is not a wasteland. It is a glorious ecosystem. Every civilization here could thrive without conflict. Seems like a good goal. Were you here when the Dwegar attacked? I observed the fight from a distance. Combat is not my field of expertise, but the Myconids handled themselves well enough. Fair enough. Let's see if you have anything interesting to trade real quick. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Let me 
think that should be fine. Okay. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalog. Okay. So, if we look at the map, it's not like, where was this Lenore person, right? Is she marked on the map? Oh, near near is the drow I think that we're looking for over in the that other area. Oh, okay. There is an arcane tower further south. Okay, here's the question. Do we pursue this? And maybe do we want to go get Gale? Yeah, I think I'd like to have him with us just cuz it's somebody with a connection to Mistra and he has a connection to that. And yeah. so I'd like to, okay, I think what I'll, what we can do then is why don't we just set up camp, go back to camp, years of and then I can level up Gale, and then, and that'll be nice for him to be leveled anyways, probably. <laughs> yeah. And I can see how you actually use scrolls to teach wizards things. I know you can, I just don't know how it actually works. All right, Gail, you're in. Nasty way to go. Oh. Suffocating slowly under a ton of rubble. Not a fate I'd personally relish. Okay, why don't you join me? There's plenty of adventures to be had. Oh, would that I could. But your entourage is full. You'll need to make room for me first. Okay, take Shadow Hearts, please. It's magical. So, shall we? Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll take a large reduce. I think that sounds really fun. Uh, I think I'll do Warcaster. You gain advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell. You can also use a reaction to cast Shocking Grasp at a target moving out of melee. I just gave him Shocking Grasp, so that seems fun. Right? Yeah. Okay, we'll accept that. The really nice thing is that if I ever level somebody up in this and somebody in the comments is like, wow, that was a terrible choice. Maybe you should do this thing. We can just talk to Withers and make that happen. So I'm, right. not, I'm not too stressed about it. <laughs> I want somebody to be able to cast Fireball. <laughs> Why is that? Because it's a big fire magic spell. <laughs> Oh, well, that makes sense. It does um, 8d6 damage. It's so fun. Oh, I could also take Lightning Bolt. These are some big hard-hitting spells that I'm thinking of here. Yeah, we'll just go with some big hard-hitting spells. Sounds good. Except. That didn't take as long to level up as I was afraid it would. Nice. All right, well, while we're here, I guess we should probably just rest. Okay. Let's do it. I assume... Can we get up there? I think we have to go up this way. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think I've been this way at all yet. Honestly. Are there bodies? No, there's... Oh, there's bodies yeah. we can loot. Hell yeah. Some gold, a necklace to sell. Nice. Wizard's Bane Dead worker, dead. Oh, executed Deep Gnome. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the poor Deep Gnomes. We will save them. Crooked Wand of Fireballs. You can use an action to cast Fireball from this broken wand. All very nearby creatures must make a dexterity saving throw. Targets take 8 to 48 fire damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. I was thinking backfire. I guess. 
Okay. I might have to try that sometime. That sounds like fun. Because I cannot personally cast Fireball at this moment. Uh, but I may have to try that sometime. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, sounds amazing. Okay. Um, up the rope? Yes. Just when I was getting used to the sky again. Oh, another shoot. Another executed you know, deep note. Sun, moon, and stars will still be there. Wait. Meanwhile, this place is pretty spectacular, isn't it? <laughs> no book or painting could ever do its strange beauty justice. But perhaps our stories might, when we return to the surface. All right. A couple of deep knowns. I got an interesting, a short sword of first blood from one, which um, deals extra damage on targets that have all of their hit points. Which is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, kind of a first strike sort of deal. Yeah. I think we're going the right way. Uh, I Are we? I don't think no, so. Oh, shoot. We want to go back down, but now it doesn't look like there's a connection. Maybe so, we need to go from the Selenite outpost. What was the... Because there was a, a oh that no, like there was, was the a thing go. that connected. Yeah, yeah, we just went the okay. I just went the wrong way. Okay, I'm trying to. Yeah, I didn't see this junction at all. Okay, cool. I'm with you. Hmm. Anything inside here? This floor feels spattered diary. Okay. I'll read that. I'll take that. A badly charred diary with property of Woolbrin written on the inside cover. In one of the few legible entries, the author wonders if he'll ever see his friend Barkus again, now that he's departed for the surface world. Barkus is familiar. Was that the Should guy we we rescued from the windmill? Oh, maybe. There was like the gnome we rescued off of the windmill, and he wanted us to find his friend who was in the Underdark. That that could very well be. Okay, and here's another one. It was uh, something about the approachable east, I think. Let it be known that Symbia should be avoided at all costs. It's clearly home to an industrious sort of fellow, the sort who's quick to dismiss the country's history as a Netherese vassal state, but will steal your notes from the Dale Lands and sell you to pirates all the same. Thankfully, these pirates were set upon by another group of buccaneers who were more than happy to take a scribe on board. I was excited to document the voyage as we headed to Thesk, the gateway to the east, where the roads lead straight to Rashemen. Alas, I have spent almost all my time forging ship manifests. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you have to work for pirates, I think. Anything of use? Sack. Gotta replenish my rotten tomato stores. That's right. Okay. Alright, I feel like I have enough rotten food. Let's go. Is there anything up this little path? Oh, I bet yeah. you can jump there, right? The or... hole? Wait, what hole? Holes all over this thing. Oh, shit. This is like... I forget what that phobia is. Tripa... But... Is it tri tripophobia? Yeah, something like that. Uh, so I apologize to anybody who has that. I personally don't, which is nice, but... Uh... Oh! The wall is riddled with holes. A suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out. I, w I was not expecting another conversation with a hole. Okay, I am not. I'm not gonna reach in. <laughs> As a number one thing, I'm gonna end up with a glass hand that way. All right, let's do survival first. Oh, this is a fifteen. Oh, oh nice, matter. man. Hell no yeah. 
Okay. You recognize the odor. The foul scent of carrion crawlers. Centipede like aberrations that feast on the dead. Oh, good. One time, these caverns <sighs> must have been their banquet hall. The creatures are either long gone or waiting patiently in the darkness. Oh, great. But we're not dead, so. <sighs> YOLO. Wait, I'm Just saving. Just grab some treasure. I am okay. saving. <laughs> uh, reach into one of the holes. The passage narrows and bends, becoming impassable before you're even elbow deep. That's probably for the best. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to try to turn into a house cat and see if any yeah. of that changes in my options here. <laughs> right? Uh, that feels like, probably not, because it would say, like, you're, it's too small, though, right? Right. But if you want to try, more power to you. The wall is riddled. Yes, yeah, so it's the same thing. Yeah. Stench oh, you, oh, you aren't a cat. What? Out. Oh, you're short. Yeah, I've never seen that. Huh. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's do the worst idea ever. <laughs> right? Reach into one of the holes. Passage narrows and bends. <gasps> Your shoulder deep when your fingers brush against a fleshy tentacle. You flinch, but the tentacle is limp and cold. You push it aside and retrieve something loose lying beneath. Whoa! So if I, if I had failed the wisdom check, I'm guessing I would have just freaked out and pulled my hand back quickly. Right? I can only assume. What'd you get? Outlander nest egg. <laughs> Carlac and I got inspired, which is nice. I got a topaz, which trades for 60 units of stuff. Nice. A gem of the desert birthed in flame, I think. Uh, I have, let me see if I get sword for newest. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so topaz. Yeah, that's awesome, though. You got the thing. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Um, cracked rock? What's the sound? Do you hear that? No. The chanting? I thought that was just kind of background. Oh no. I had a critical fail in a perception check. But uh, Carlac noticed it, but I'm not sure what she noticed. I, mean, I would have assumed it was. I think it's new and it must be from the Arcane Tower, but maybe, oh, maybe it no, is just it's background. This, I think it's. Oh, the, the chanting. Yeah. Uh, Carlac noticed this gold necklace up here, but I can't reach it. How do we get to that? I'm gonna try going up the up the cliff and oh, jumping. Oh, and maybe jumping. That's a great idea. Go for it. And then it's it's yeah, it's here. Nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, and so what is that? Ah. Tiny ageless flower petals fill the amber stones of this necklace. Yeah, thirty-five trading. Fantastic. And I found a dirt mound. I'm gonna dig it up. Uh, is there a way to jump without getting prone? Let me see. Maybe I can jump back up. Oh, good. Too high. Can you turn uh, into a bird and fly? I can. I was hoping to preserve preserve yeah. that, but um. I mean, if you're knocked prone, as long as you don't take damage, being prone is not a big deal, right? Oh, I do take damage. Oh, yeah. Well, but not much. Not much. I only take a couple damage. Yeah. So that's up to you. Just yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. I look at all that blood. That is not two hit points worth right. of. Okay. Jesus. That is like my limb is severed. Yeah, yeah. You've got you've got a piece of bone sticking out. Unfortunately, now. What okay. was in the chest? Uh, a bunch of arrows and uh, like a potion. So, some mm. good stuff, but uh. Wait, is this the end of this? Oh, this is... We are going to need to get here from the Salune outpost. This is a dead end. One worth... Well worth, you know, exploring. Yeah. For sure. And I think there's stuff out on this dock. But, uh... It doesn't connect like I thought it was going to. Let's see here. Simple boots. A bunch of stuff here. 
Yes, clearly I must stand on top of the box in order to just <laughs> pick up the stuff that's on it. <laughs> that's standard opening strategy. That's right. A half-eaten apple. Love it. Perfect. Cup. It's so funny to me, some of the weird, random little things. Okay. All right, well, let's, uh... I'm going to teleport over to the Salune outpost. Okay. Let's see here. How do we get down from here? I think we might need to take the other... There was like, um... Yeah, this, this way, this cracked rock. Hey, look at you. They failed a perception check back here, it looks like. Oh. You got this dirt mound. Yeah. Gold, arrow, push of featherfall, nice. I guess that's how you could have escaped uh, damage on that other thing, is using a potion of featherfall. Jumping down from that thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Oh, skeleton, huh? This is where I failed a perception check. Crap. Huh. This place is more dangerous than I thought. <laughs> okay. You know what? <laughs> I recognize that Gail said that because he succeeded in the perception, but it really felt like, <laughs> like we walk over, everything explodes. Gail wisely. Oh, a trap. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, bud. We got Captain that. Captain Hindsight. Yep. <laughs> right? We figured that out. This place is trapped. Okay. Well, I succeeded in that check, at least. Yeah. Where was it again? Oh, I see. So we can still... I can still come up to where you are. Hopefully without... I mean, I can try to disarm it. Unless you want to swap out like a Starion for Karlak or something like that, if we're entering Trap City. I'm going to cancel. Difficulty class is 30. Oh, but now I want it. I know. Well, here's what we can do. I'm going to ungroup. And then... Um, actually, here. I'm going to move me and Gale back. Karlak has the most hit points. So I'm going to be Carlac, and she's going to pick up this backpack. Oh, it's just like a freaking silver necklace and a crossbow. I don't know if that was worth it, but oh well. And she's also heat resistant. Right? A little bit. But if you interact with her right now, it will heal her. Maybe later. Not now. There we go. Not now. Okay, but now this is on fire, so I don't know if we can just give it a minute or if I should make water to make it go away. Well, that's not uh, helping. <laughs> Continue. Oh, because the vent is still on there. Do we have anything to toss on the vent? Uh, oh, yeah, Carlac might. Um, uh, let me throw. I think I, I think I picked up a wicker basket at some point. Okay, you Here if you have something, go for it. Uh, I'm going to drop it on the ground. Carlac might have better... Better luck, as long as throwing it does... Oh, nope, now I set it on fire. Never mind. <laughs> oh, it was made of wicker. I've got a heavy rock that I've been holding on Carlac for just this occasion. Perfect. Uh, let's see, right there? I don't know if that did it. I don't think that did it. No. Damn. I want my heavy we'll probably rock probably time back. it so we just uh, yep. go quickly. Yep. Let's just go. Well, you know. I, I've done stupider things in this game. <laughs> Would it, cause it oh, may, she just it might jumped across. Right. Jumping. Jumping across. Okay. Would it be, like, what would it be throwing the, the, the clothes? Okay. 
Oh, no, no, don't don't walk back me. Uh, I, w I told you to jump. Oh my god. <laughs> jump. Tiny bits. Okay, let's this all get over perfect. here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're fine. We made it. I'm so there feels like there should be like a trophy like Darwin Award like <laughs> achieved or something. Right? Well, I'm about to go through this poison, so it's fine. Oh, it's oh, do you want to... Okay. No, I just want to okay. go through... We can always short rest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. Dragon egg mushroom. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah. I'll pick that up. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, it was just saving. Okay. Feels ominous. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's... oh is this going to be the, uh, the rhino thing? Oh, shit my turn oh no the, the other turn is the world oh god it sure is um this has got to be the rhino thing you were talking about yeah the, the boulette burret, the boulette um okay well, where can i just run away yeah we it's probably don't want to be there when it pops up yeah Okay, so then Gail. Um. Can't control, knocked down. Well, shit. Uh, what are what are you? Gonna oh, I'm do? ending turn. Yeah, I think you need to end your turn. Uh, or I can, I can heal up because I'm no, I'm I'm. Well, Carlac's in kind of a rough shape. Let me yeah, heal her. Yeah. Uh. Maybe I should have healed somebody. I just ran away. God. Okay. Oh, I I guess it didn't end my turn. Environmental turn. Commence there battle. Oh shit. Shit. Oh, it's kind of cute. It's like a little froggy. It is very cute. And I wasn't ready for combat. <laughs> Alright, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Oh, this is, it has a really interesting trait on it. Oh, yeah? I don't think we can use it right now, but check out Territorial. Uh. Examine him. We'll attack other monstrosities before going after smaller prey. Like, if we can get into, like, a let them fight moment, like, we might be able to knock some of the hit points down. Right? Shit. And there's a spider web right next to it. Is there... Hmm. Is there a giant spider around here, you're thinking? Oh, no, I don't see it. I was hoping, but no. Yeah. There's spider web, though. Okay, well... This feels... This feels... Bad. Okay, um, I'm going to do Dissonant Whispers. I'm going to try a level two this thing. It has a high defense. Okay, it's frightened. Well, I scared it. I feel kind of bad about that. And I'm going to do a healing scaring the predator of the dark. Yeah. Okay. Shit, so now I gotta have Gale do things. Please, Mistra. Okay. Arcane recovery charge? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, cantrips. Wait, what? Can't cast spells not proficient with equipped boots. Okay, listen. I gave him boots because I thought they looked good, but they are not good. They prevent him from... Uh, casting spells. That hey, took his hmm. action. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> I'll be honest. I want to. I want to attack the. F I'm looking for if I have fire stuff because I really want to attack the fire. The 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 spider web. I the, that and yeah. territorial makes me think there might be a thing there. Okay. Well, listen. If you need fire on something, you have friends who have oh. fire abilities. That's right. Okay. Um, but maybe next turn. Uh, Although, I can do... I'm 
I'm going to try greasing up the area by the spider web on the on on the, okay. uh, that touches him just in case. Okay. I'm going to frenzy Carlac. But beware of the grease there now. Yeah, it's good to know. Um, and then I'm going to have her do a ranged attack. With, uh, it's not a construct. I'm just going to do a regular arrow, I guess. Okay, and then, oh, she can do it again. Oh, no, that's reckless attack, not in reach through. Missed. Damn. Okay, what are you up to? Um, debating if I should hold off on a wild shape for now or not. I think I'm going to hold off on a... Mm. Uh, you know what? No, let's... I'm going to... Because you're going to try to... She's going to try to move down next turn, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, it's frightened, so it has. Whoa! Shit, dude! Oh, fuck. This is gonna be. It's gonna be tough. Okay, but we're all gonna move out of that, so that's not so bad. Yeah. Uh. Let, can I bite it this turn? No, I'm not. Oh, I can bite it this turn. Oh, no, I can't. It tricked me. Um, that's annoying. Inciting how... What does inciting how do again? Move an additional three meters during their next turn. That's fine. Okay. So, let's see if we can light this thing up. Yeah. I... cannot... Because, uh, well, I'm gonna move away. I forgot that changing um, no choice but to keep going. equipment uh, uses my action, but I did change equipment, so I will. Okay, I'm gonna try to put Gale here. Um, yeah, he can try wounding Ray because of his necklace that I gave him. Not too bad. What's this? I am tempted okay. to try Cloud of Daggers, but I'm not going to because we're going to be in melee. Over there. Okay, come on, Carlac. Uh, uh, frenzied Strike. And then... I'm going to do Lacerate. Missed! Damn it! Okay. But I can do... A main hand attack. Okay. Okay. In turn. That oh, was sweet. Frightened was helpful. Okay. And so I... Yep. What are you thinking of doing? I'm gonna do a magic missile. Okay, I'm going to switch to uh, leave wild shape so they can get a fire thing down. Okay. Because uh, I think I have an alchemist thing I can toss at least. Okay. Oh, um, that's true. Yeah, because I could do the fire spell. I just, um, magic missile will do some damage here. Okay, that did do that. Okay, I'm going to do magic missile and see what I can get here. Oh, right. Yeah, that was a pretty good hit for me. And I'm going to healing word uh, Karlac here. Okay. Oh, I should have done mage armor on Kale. This is one reason why he's having trouble. Um, it's okay. It's all good. And he's got seven. The Bulet has like seven health left. Bulet is 
Super dead. It is. I want to try something. Mind meld? No. Oh, what? Re oh, adorable. <laughs> Put it in our pocket. Right? Oh, I thought that was worth it. Okay. Well, have at, it's Karlak. Its carrying capacity is down 25%. You've shrunk its pockets, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Okay, I feel kind of bad for the bullet. I think it's cute and cool. But, uh... Oh, Blood Guzzler Garb. Grievous Retribution. When an enemy damages the wearer, the wearer gains wrath for a turn. And it's clothing, so this is something that I could wear or Gale or, you know, could wear. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> that is all the time we have today. We will have to continue all of this the next time. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye. Bye-bye.